My name is Carl Zimmer and this movie is going to show you how to use Marilyn Monroe to control a computer. Uh, we're going to listen to neurons that are sensitive mainly to Marilyn Monroe. You're actually going to hear the sound of the neurons themselves responding to images. Now there are also neurons in this person's brain that are sensitive to Josh Brolin, and we'll hear them. And in this experiment, uh, people had to effectively move a computer screen. They had to move the image to Marilyn Monroe. Here's the targets, Josh Brolin. And what you're seeing is reflects the strength of these different kinds of neurons. That one didn't work. But generally they get it pretty fast. So that one worked. Bear in mind, trial five means this is the this is the fifth time that someone's tried to do this, and they're getting it pretty fast. This is just going to show you the same pattern, but with a graph to, to show you the kind of back and forth that goes when they think these things. So you can see it doesn't go straight to the target. In that case, it was wrong. So there's a competition going on in the brain as people are trying to get it to the right place. But it only takes a few seconds for them to, to win that competition. I actually don't know what movie that uh, picture of Josh Brolin is from. The young Josh Brolin, I assume. Now these are just two pictures and you know we probably have thousands of groups of neurons responding to familiar faces depending on who we're familiar with. So you could in theory make a computer that could respond to any of them. You just need a whole bunch of electrodes in your head and a pretty powerful computer. Still, this is the first time anyone's found that this can actually work, so who knows where it can go from here. And there you have it, Marilyn Monroe and Brain Machine Interfaces.